Hello. Welcome to this online training on NEO's 5 processors. Feel free to pause, move forward, or go back as you need during this presentation. In the resources section of the presentation, you will find a list of helpful links and guides on the subject. Let's get started. The objectives for this course are provide an overview of the architecture and compare available NEOS 5 processor versions. Describe each NEOS 5 processor IP and understand their applications and best use cases. The currently available versions for NEOS 5 processors are NEOS 5G, NEOS 5M, and NEOS 5C. One or more soft processors can be instantiated in a device's programmable fabric allowing designers to add a microcontroller or microprocessor core to a solution. In the case of SOC FPGA devices which can have more than one hard processor components, NEO's 5 processor IP can be added through the device's programmable fabric. You can take a look at video links and resources including this white paper in the resources list in this presentation. The NEOS 5 processor is a soft processor core with data bus and instruction bus. The processor does not include peripherals or the connection logic to external devices, designed for Altera FPGA devices and developed based on RISC-V specification. NEOS 5 processors have wide ranges of operating systems supported like Zephyr, FreeRTOS, and real-time operating system MicroCOS2. One of the advantages of RISC-V architecture is that there are available numerous resources as it is an open community and a growing ecosystem for support and development. Altera FPGA contain no logic when powered up. Before using a NEOS 5 processor IP-based design, the device must be configured with a hardware design that contains NEOS 5 processor which can be placed anywhere on the FPGA. There are three variants of NEOS 5 processor currently available. NEOS 5M processor supports microcontroller applications. NEOS 5G processor which is a general purpose processor. NEOS 5C processor with compact microcontroller application. Now, let's take a look at the differences between the NEOS 5 processors and the variants available. The NEOS 5G is the highest performance NEOS 5 processor version with support for RTOS embedded system. Currently, you can find that NEOS 5M can support two versions, pipelined and non-pipelined. NEOS 5C is a great option for a compact microcontroller application since it's the small NEOS 5 version with non-interrupt driven control application. With two versions available NEOS 5M with five pipeline stages as well as non-pipelined, this is the first NEOS 5 processor. It is supported in Cordis Pro and Standard Editions. Balanced in performance and size with functional units described in the diagram that include exception and interrupt controller, arithmetic logic unit, load and store unit, control and status registers, general purpose registers, data and instruction buses, RISC-V based debug module that provides a JTAG interface to the software debugger, and ECC module. The NEOS 5G is used to accelerate time-critical software algorithms by converting them into custom hardware logic blocks. This is the second processor IP from the NEOS 5 portfolio. It enables more features versus NEOS 5M processor. You can see the additional functional units compared to the previous block diagram describing NEOS 5M. NEOS 5G processor is also supported in Cordis Pro and Standard Editions. The additional units are Instruction and Data Caches Multiply and Divide Units Custom Instruction Logic Floating Point Unit and Tightly Coupled Memories. The NEOS 5C Compact Microcontroller supports a non-pipeline data path. It also has a small area footprint for size-optimized controller applications. 
supported in Cordis Pro and Standard Editions. It has the following functional units as described in the block diagram. Arithmetic Logic Unit, General Purpose Registers, ECC Module, and Instruction and Data Buses. The NEOS 5M Pipelined Processor and NEOS 5G support a five-stage pipeline. This table describes each of the functions and each stage. The NEOS 5 processor implements the general purpose register file using memory blocks. The F stage initiates register file reads so general purpose register values are available in D stage. If there is a dependency to resolve, the M stage carries forward the value to the W stage. To learn more in detail about the stages, you can go to the NEOS 5 processor reference manual. The link can be found in the resources provided with this course. As you can see the non-pipelined version NEOS 5C doesn't have a write back stage. This is also the case for NEOS 5M in the non-pipelined version. You can learn more about the stages in the reference manual listed in the resources section. The NEOS 5 processor architecture describes an instruction set architecture and needs certain functional units to work. In this table we see the functional units for each version of NEOS 5 processor to work for the application expected. One of the characteristics of NEOS 5G architecture is the custom instruction logic. It also has data and instruction caches as additional functional units. As you can see from this table, the three versions provide different applications that can help determine which is your best option for performance, architecture, and functionality. The general purpose register is duplicated to two different source registers for an instruction to be available in two locations. The NEOS 5 processor has the option to enable error detection and ECC status. When an ECC event occurs, the processor transmits the source ID and ECC status to the ECC interface. You can take a look in the NEOS 5 processor's reference manual for the detailed differences between each functional unit for each one of the NEOS 5 processor's existing variants. After performing ALU operations, the processor core writes the same result to the destination register in both memories. The operations that the ALU can perform are arithmetic, relational, logical, shift logical and arithmetic shift operations. Data and instruction buses are implemented as a 32-bit AMBA 4 AXI manager port. The instruction manager port always retrieves 32-bit data. Every instruction fetch returns a full instruction word, regardless of the width of the target memory. The data manager port has two functions, to read data from memory or a peripheral when the processor executes a load instruction, and to write data to memory or a peripheral when the processor executes a store instruction. Control and status registers report the status and change the behavior of the processor. They are both readable and writable. NEOS 5G and NEOS 5M processors update the registers during the E stage of the pipeline. The interrupt controller supports platform interrupts with 16 level sensitive interrupt request inputs as well as internally generated timer and software interrupts. The exception controller handles all exception types. Each exception, including internal hardware interrupts, causes the processor to transfer execution to an exception address. An exception handler at this address determines the cause of the exception and executes an appropriate exception routine. Debugging features include downloading a program to memory, software breakpoints and watchpoints, start and stop execution, analyze registers and memory, among others. You can enter a debug mode by a halt in the debug module, software breakpoints or a trigger. In the block diagram, 
you can see that there are different reset and debug signals like the global hardware reset or the CPU input and output reset signals that trigger NEO's 5 processor to reset without affecting anything else. These parameters can be configured from Platform Designer in the IP Parameter Editor. There are additional functional units for NEO's 5G. The multiply and divide units have two inputs from registers, compute, and store the result to a register. In the instruction cache memory, the instruction byte address size is 32-bit. The instruction manager port reads an entire cache line at a time from memory, and issues one read per clock cycle. The data cache memory is another functional unit that is exclusive to NEO's 5G. The data byte address size is 32-bit. The data manager port reads an entire cache line at a time from memory, and issues one read per clock cycle. You can learn more about data cache and instruction cache memory, in the NEO's 5G section of the NEO's 5 processors reference manual in the link provided in the resources. Custom instructions are used to accelerate time-critical software algorithms by converting them into custom hardware logic blocks. NEO's 5 processor custom instructions are custom logic blocks adjacent to the arithmetic logic unit in the processor's data path. You can learn more about how to implement custom instructions using Platform Designer and NEO's 5G processor IP in the link to the guide provided in the resources section of this presentation. The floating point unit is based on RISC-V-F, standard extension for single precision floating point. The floating point unit supports floating point fused multiply add instructions. TCM is a dedicated on-chip memory within the NEO's 5 processor core. The NEO's 5 processor architecture supports four TCMs for instruction access and data access, two per access type. You can find more information on the resources available in the section for this presentation at the top right, or you can go to intel.com and search for NEO's 5 processor landing page and take a look at the resources, quick videos and tutorials to get started. You can find examples to get started with NEO's 5 processors design through the design store link provided in the resource section or in our rocketboards.org website, for examples with NEO's 5 processors for Altera FPGAs. The Altera training team is always looking to improve our material. To do this, a survey will be emailed to your registration email address. We welcome any feedback you may have. Thank you for attending this training.